Today, we're introducing three revolutionary products. The first is a quick config interface for outgoing damage. The second is a ricochet projectile that bounces off any surface. And the third, an infinite range, zero drop off projection weapon platform. So, three new products in the Omelon portfolio. But unlike other product launches, we won't be staggering the releases. We will be releasing them all at once in a single device in extremely limited quantities. We call it Hardlight. So, you've seen how Bungie is selling the product, but how does it actually feel like to use? Yep, it's time. We're going to do our usual shenanigans. Let's do this. Hardlight is an exotic 600 RPM auto rifle with less than average range, acceptable stability, good magazine size, and ridiculous amounts of aim assist. Are you serious? Dang. The intrinsic perk Volatile Light says rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off, over penetrate targets, and ricochet off hard surfaces. Projectile damage increases after bounce. That's right, if you absolutely want to utilize hard light, the first thing you have to force yourself to do is to aim away from your target to get that extra damage, which quite frankly sounds ridiculous. Imagine this drag here really wants you dead and therefore is shooting at you. What would you do? And no, I don't have time for this. Nobody has time for this. Yes, I know the bullets will ricochet and yes, occasionally you might get lucky in PvP, but Personally, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to master this. The zero drop-off has great potential, but the recoil is an issue. So you really want to hunt for the catalyst, which further increases stability. And honestly, it's like night and day after the upgrade. So well worthwhile. Alloy Magazine, faster reload when the magazine is empty. For PvE, this perk has great synergy with all fast firing auto rifles. Also gives you an excuse to just hold down that trigger and say, Yippee mother. <coughs> Excuse me. The fundamentals. Holding reload changes this weapon's damage type, cycling between solar, arc, and void. A practical feature that comes in real hand in a variety of content, and no, that isn't sarcasm. Ranging from energy-based bounties to tackling specific game modifiers like match game energy shields, it really is useful. Coupling that with its high ammo capacity, this gun can be ideal for tackling ad-heavy missions. However, I wish it had just a bit more firepower, but sadly, we get what Bungie gives us. So let's see how well I do in PvP with this bad boy, shall we? I'll be honest, initially I had little to no expectations. So you can imagine my surprise when I was actually getting kills with this gun. The extra stability from the catalyst really helped. The ricochet behavior, while utterly unpredictable, works reasonably well in territory control. But at the same time, you run the risk of exposing your position. You know, because you're kind of putting on a big laser show. Overall, it's definitely usable. That's it from me in this episode of Silly Review. If you liked this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up or maybe even get subscribed. If you disliked it, well, guess I'll try harder next time. Hey, eh? I shall see you in the next video.